In this video tutorial, Dr. Nadine Aguilera will present a case of pediatric type follicular lymphoma. Dr. Aguilera is an associate professor of pathology at University of Virginia. She's also the director of hematopathology and the hematopathology fellowship program director. So today we're going to be looking at a lymph node from a child, a six-year-old child with an asymptomatic right cervical lymph node. Low power, you see that there are um, numerous expanded follicles. Some still have um, mantle zones, but they appear attenuated. Um, some of the follicles are more close packed than in other areas. The follicles are large and expansile, but in most cases they are not um, confluent. And in some areas you might actually see a marginal zone hyperplasia. No normal uh, follicles on this lymph node, so I considered this lymph node uh, effaced. So when we look closer at the follicles, um, we see that there are really no light or dark zones here. As we get closer, we see that there is um, a very high mitotic rate, but the follicles are made up of mostly these small round um, blastoid appearing, appearing um, cells either we would consider these atypical follicles. Okay, on high power, these um, neoplastic nodules show uh, an abundance of what's called um, small blastoid uh, cells in the WHO. So the differential um, would include florid follicular hyperplasia. Consider also other reactive processes such as HIV. As we saw in the beginning, there's no polarization in these follicles. The mantle zones are attenuated and the lymph node is really um, effaced. Now we're going to look at immunohistochemistry stains. CD20 shows diffuse positivity within the nodules within the, the atypical follicles. And you can see that the paracortex has some scattered B cells in it as well. It's CD3 is a little, um, has a little bit of a background, but it is negative in the follicles. CD5 and CD10 together help us define many of our small B cell lymphomas. Um, in this case, it looks similar to the CD3 and it would be interpreted as negative and CD10 shows positivity within the follicles and you can see that most are intact. They have a very strong CD10 positivity. Um, BCL6, another germinal center um, marker here shows you that the germinal center B cells are positive. This is a nuclear uh, stain in immunohistochemistry, and you can see that the, the cells are positive in these neoplastic follicles. Um, BCL2, we're going to call this weak to equivocal. B67 in this case is very high, 30 to 40 percent in the neoplastic follicles. MUM1 in this case, it showed some rare positivity, but it would be considered negative. And in situ hybridization, and you can see this is the lambda, which is very low. This is the kappa, and you can see that the follicles have blush positivity for the kappa. We're looking at RNA scope, which is um, a new technique that's very much more sensitive than the in situ hybridization. Um, the technique it shows this brown coloration on, on the background that is slightly blue. And you can see this, this is the kappa and this is the lambda. So it, again, is kappa restricted. In summary, immunohistochemistry showed that the cells were positive for CD20, CD10, and BCL6. They were negative or equivocal for BCL2 and they were negative for CD5, CD3, MUM1, CMIC, and the key 67 was about 40% in the follicles. And the flow cytometry showed monotypic kappa-restricted B cell population that was CD10 positive. We also did several other uh, studies to confirm that this was, um, in fact, a monoclonal process. It was Ig heavy chain uh, gene rearrangements and showed an Ig heavy chain 
uh, clonal rearrangement. So the differential um, would include florid follicular hyperplasia, follicular lymphoma of the um, classic type, which is rare in children, so not likely, um, pediatric type follicular lymphoma, um, and large B-cell lymphoma with IRF4 rearrangement. So this is a good uh, example of pediatric type follicular lymphoma. The summary of findings are effaced architecture. They have expansile follicles that have attenuated mantle zones. There's no polarization. There's no um, tangible body macrophages. But you sometimes do see a starry sky appearance, which does make people think that um, there may be tangible body macrophages. And um, there's often a monotonous blastoid, uh, small blastoid appearance to the cell. And in um, this instance, even though the uh, follicles are made up of small blastoid cells, it is not graded. IHC often shows um, just what we saw, CD20, CD10 positive, CD5 negative, BCL2 is usually negative to weak, and BCL6 can be positive. And lastly, MUM1 should also be negative in these. Uh, Further studies that um, I believe should be done on all pediatric cases include um, immunoglobulin heavy chain, which is rearranged in these cases. Um, they should also have fish, um, and they should be negative for B it should be negative for BCL2, BCL6, MYC, and IRF4 should not be rearranged um, as well. Um, and there should be no BCL2 amplification. This type of lymphoma is a very low-grade lymphoma, and in many instances, have the patient um, do what's called watchful waiting to see if it resolves um, after surgery.